shout hallelujah. A louder hallelujah. Either way you are, raise your voice as you sing this loud and clear. Believe in the Lord for His great church upon your life here today. Power must change us in my life. No matter what the man may say. Power must change us in my life. Hallelujah, no matter what the man may Jesus name Jesus name Jesus name Jesus name for your life and there are things you will want to do in your life therefore in the next few minutes I want you to sing like David sang and dance like David danced so that you too can have the miracle of David miracle of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob let nobody's voice be louder than yours as you praise the Lord this glorious in holiness fearful in praises we give glory to the Lord He reigns. We give glory to the Lord He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. We give glory to the Lord He reigns. Hallelujah. We give glory to the Lord He reigns. No, no, no. We give glory to the Lord He reigns. Hallelujah. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. We give glory to the Lord He reigns. Adoration to the Lord, He reigns. Adoration to the Lord, He reigns. He reigns, He reigns, He reigns. Adoration to the Lord, He reigns. We give glory, we give glory to the Lord, He reigns. We give glory to the Lord, He reigns. He reigns. Walking God, it's a miracle. Walking God, it's a Alpha and Omega. It's a miracle. Walking God, Hallelujah. It's a miracle. Walking God, Hallelujah. It's a miracle. Walking God, it's a Alpha and Omega. It's a miracle. Walking 
Just remain standing where you are with your eyes closed. I'm going to sing a song. Don't sing with me. Just focus your attention on Jesus, who is the author and finisher of your faith. As I sing from here, the mysterious power of God will begin to move. Everywhere the voice is heard, the voice of the great physician too will flow into your ears. And situations that have resisted you shall begin to bow. Thank you, Jesus. He has broken all the fetal. He has broken all the fetal. He has broken all the fetal. He has set me free. He has broken all the fetters. He has broken all the fetters. He has broken all the fetters. He has set me free I will sing Hallelujah I will sing Hallelujah I will sing Hallelujah He has set me free he has broken all the fetters. He has broken all the fetters. He has broken all the fetters. He has set me free. The lion of Judah has broken every yoke. He has given us the victory again and again. The Lion of Judah has broken every yoke. He has given us the victory again and again. Victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God, who has given us victory, victory, we are victorious, yes, we are victorious, glory be to God, who has given us victory. That's the power of God moving. That's the second wave of the power of God moving. Just silence. I am going to count seven from here. And when I eat the number seven, all those who are in this gathering are connected to us, who have been aroused by the spirit of death and hell, and you are having suicidal thoughts. And that yoke will be broken instantly. You may not be able to stand on your feet, it does not matter. But right there where you are, the heavenly surgeon will complete work in your life. I'm going to cancel from here too. People who have come out with a very bad medical report. At the count of seven, the earthquake of deliverance will fall upon you. And that report shall be cancelled. As I count seven from here too. There are sisters here. In the family you come from, marriages never work. But on that count of seven, the mysterious power of God will fall upon you, and that you shall be broken instantly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The yoke must be broken. I'm going to count another seven from here. As I eat the number seven, if you have come here with problems in your womb, 
You have come here because you have been constantly attacked by witchcraft spirits. You are here. And anytime you wake up, it's as if your strength is gone. And you have been seeing these strange serpents in your dream. As I eat the number seven. The hand of the great physician shall come upon you. And that yoke shall be broken forever. Also, there are some people here. All roads seem blocked. Power of God will fall upon you. You will definitely not be able to stand on your feet. Because of the earthquake of that power. But then all your roads that are blocked shall open. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The poison of darkness that you have swallowed, that has been working against your body, is coming out. Aha. That egg that you swallowed, the satanic egg, is coming out. Thank you, Jesus. Stretch your right hand towards this altar now. Stretch your right hand towards this altar. Father, these hands that are stretched forward here, let these hands carry the fire and power of God. Let these hands carry the anointing that breaketh yokes. You hands that are stretched forward here, receive the touch of fire. Receive the touch of fire. Receive the touch of power. Receive the touch of deliverance. This is the touch of power. Every infirmity you shall smite here today. You shall not find them anymore in the name of Jesus. Get yourself ready now. Anywhere you have infirmity in your body, smite it 21 hot times. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Let's go! Jesus. Amen. Begin to check your body now. Do everything you could not do before you got here. Look at that swelling, it has vanished. Look at the paralysis, it has gone. Look at the migraine, it has disappeared. That pursuit by the spirit of death and hell has vanished completely. Check your body now. Once you find that the hand of God has touched you, don't let the devil put it back. Don't quickly to the altar here. Don't quickly to the altar here. Don't let the devil put it back. Father, I'm praying for all those who are in this gathering right now. And they are suffering from like father, like some problem. Like mother, like daughter problems. Wherever such people are now, in this program now, let your power, your power, your power overshadow them in the name of Jesus. Receive the touch of the power of God now. In the name of Jesus. Receive the touch of His power. In the name of Jesus. Receive the touch of His power. In the name of Jesus. Aha. Yes. That man over there. Everything swallowed your body by witchcraft spirit. The Lord has forced them to return them. So what you could not do before, jump up and begin to do so. And begin to find a way to the altar very quickly. Thank you, Jesus. Pray this prayer with violence and with power. Without any apology to any power. Anything can happen now. 
Pray the way you have never prayed before. That handed me over to the strong man. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus. I want to hand him over to the strong man. Die in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm going to count seven again from here. There are some sisters here this morning. The enemy has written you off. But as I count the seven, the earthquake power of God will fall upon you. And what they said is not possible for you shall be made possible. Not only that, before this time next year, if Jesus starts in his coming, your life will embarrass and disgrace your enemies. One, two, let her go. Three, four, five, six, seven, Raise your two hands to the heaven as you pray this prayer. The louder you pray, it, the faster. My blessings held up in the covens. Is that the loudest sister say I can shout it? There is a sister who needs to shout this louder. Brother, let your voice roar like thunder. Everybody shouting it loud. Come out my fire. In the name of Jesus. Come on, to come out. Mapote seteli kaya boshanda, ribo sepende kaya boshente raboshente. In Jesus' name we pray. If you are that person that you know that your body is decaying internally, nobody needs to tell you. you can smell it. Right there where you are, just open your mouth wide. Don't say anything. Just open that mouth wide. Right there where you are. Begin to drink the blood of Jesus. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Drink. 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 Drink the blood of Jesus. I command you to recover yourself now. In the name of Jesus. I check your body. And run quickly to the altar here. Don't let the devil put the problems back. There are some people here 
You have never worked with your certificate because the enemy collected the certificate before you collected it. Again, I'm going to cancel you from here. And the powers that have held on to your career shall release you instantly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. With a military voice, shout this. I shall not last. You are not shouting it yet. You are still not shouting it yet. Over my enemies, by the power, in the blood of Jesus, open your mouth and decree it. Jesus name we pray now from inside your belly not just from the mouth alone if you believe that prayer you just prayed with a loud voice begin to laugh your enemies to scorn <laughs> just laugh them to scorn laugh them to scorn <laughs> Make it louder, make it louder. <laughs> Amen. I shall love love over my enemies by the power in the blood of Jesus. Shout it again. Shout it a second time. Make it louder now. A louder amen. Bring out your oil for the deep deliverance prayers. Father, we commit this oil unto your holy hands. Let the Holy Spirit move upon this oil in the name of Jesus. Let this oil become the oil of great breakthroughs, the oil of great deliverance, the oil of power in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As you hold the oil in your hands, you are going to sing this song. You may sit down. As you hold your eyes, sing this song loud and clear. May there be glory and honor and praise. Glory and honor to Jesus. Let there be glory. Let there be honor. Be glory, let there be glory and honor and praise. Glory and honor to Jesus. Let there be glory. Let there be honor. Present, bless me, Lord. I am standing in your presence. Bless me, Lord. I am standing in your presence. Bless me, Lord. I am standing in your presence. Bless me, Lord. I am standing.
Say that as after me loud and clear. I place this anointing oil on my feet to sanctify my work. I receive the anointing to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over every part of the enemy. Nothing shall by enemies harm me. I shall walk uprightly. I shall not stumble. I shall move. I shall never be paralyzed. I shall walk every day in victory. Anywhere I step into, the Lord will give it to me. There shall be no enemy who will be able to stand on my way all the days of my life. As I anoint my legs, I decree that my leg shall take me to the place of my breakthroughs. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In louder, amen. Place some of the oil in your mouth now. So I place this oil in my mouth. A symbol of the presence and power of the Holy Spirit. There the rivers of living water flow through my body to sustain me. As I drink this oil, every agent of infirmity is destroyed. I receive a mouth and a wisdom that no enemy can stand against. In the name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Ghost, Amen. Now anoint your head. After doing that, take your paper now. At the back page, power against neoxacer syndrome. After anointing your head, take that paper and begin to pray now. The prayer that starts with every cord of darkness, militating against my breakthrough, die in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray those prayers now. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. If this month is a bad day, please rise your feet while we pray with you now. Father, we thank you for those who are celebrating their birthday this month. We pray, O oh Lord, that your hand will be upon their lives for good. Keep them standing by your power. No weapon formed against you or your destiny shall prosper. By this time next year, if Jesus stands in his coming, he will be a bigger bundle of testimonies. The hand of Messiah will arise for your sake. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Bring out your prayer letter and remain standing on your feet as you bring out your prayer letter. As you pray on that prayer letter and stretch the prayer letter towards this altar. Rise up and stretch it towards this altar. Father, you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We stretch this prayer letter unto you. Father, answer them by fire in the name of Jesus. Every point that has been written on this paper, you are the God who has the ability to over-answer our prayers. Over-answer in the name of Jesus. Answer them by fire in the name of Jesus. Let every point on this paper become mighty testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. While you are remaining standing, 
You are going to sing these songs of fire. Let your voice be the loudest as to sing these songs before we go into our final session of prayers. Let nobody's voice overshadow your voice. Clap your hands and sing loud and clear. Thank you, Jesus. I mean to Calvary. I did my hands in the blood of the Lamb. I did the blood of Jesus. I've been to Calvary. I've been to Calvary. I've been to Calvary. I did my hands in the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. I drink the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. My life has been made whole. 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 My life has been my life has been made old. My life has been made old. My life has been made old. Super blood of Jesus. Come and deliver me. Precious blood of Calvary. Come and deliver me. Super blood of Jesus. Super blood of Jesus. Super blood of Jesus. Come and deliver me. Come and deliver me. Precious blood. Envelope your people. Let there be no one who will go home today with a plastic experience. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Before you sit down, I'd like you to walk up to five persons and tell the person loud and clear the vulture of your father's house. 
shall not swallow you. In the name of Jesus. Shout it at five verses. Shout it loud, hallelujah. Let's have a seat. God bless you. And listen to me very carefully. It is important that the next two palm of strangers is something you must not miss and something you must take seriously. As we go on on this, our deep deliverance sessions, please listen carefully to what we are going to be dealing with so that you know what to do when the time comes. For the next few minutes, I want to explain to you what we mean by candidates of deep deliverance. Candidates of deep deliverance. Sisters, what did I say? And brothers, what did I say? In Psalm 38, verse 4. Psalm 38, verse 4. For my iniquities are gone over my head. As an heavy body, they are too heavy for me. There could be a burden that is too heavy for a man to carry. When that kind of burden is in place, then an enemy has done this. I'm praying for somebody here. Any heavy burden the enemy has placed upon you, before you depart from this holy ground today, shall backfire in the name of Jesus. A sevenfold man. Now in Psalm 18, verse 17, 18, 17, He delivered me from my strong enemy, from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. So there could be a situation where a burden could be too heavy and an enemy can be too strong. Those are the Goliath kind of enemy. I decree upon your life that whether it is convenient for the enemy or not, you shall disgrace your Goliath. Meaning that there are various levels of oppression. There are various levels of affliction. There are various levels of being troubled. This is a wicked world. And the Bible says the whole world lies in wickedness. A very wicked world. So wicked that some who should remain alive are dead. I was explaining last month that there could be surface deliverance. There could be temporary deliverance. There could be partial deliverance. There could be complete deliverance. There could be deep deliverance. When a problem is in the surface and is lightly rooted, it can be uprooted without too much effort. But when it's deeply rooted, it will require more energy. In fact, there are some problems in Scripture that require the second touch of Jesus. Jesus touched the man the first time. He said, can you see? He said, I see men as trees. He touched him again. Some problems require not one touch, a second touch. I now want to go, as time permits, into characteristics of those requiring this thing we call deep deliverance. That is deliverance from the roots. Number one. There are some people who suffer from spiritual blockage. They cannot connect to heaven. They cannot flow during worship. No divine dream. No divine vision. No prophecy. No hearing of divine voice. Spiritual blankness. If you are like that, no information from heaven, no sight from heaven, no vision from heaven, no dream from heaven, no divine information, 
That is what you call spiritual blockage. Something has blocked your spiritual man, and that requires deep deliverance. I'm praying for anyone here like that today that you are spiritually blocked. People dreams, you don't have any divine dreams, no divine vision. People flow in the Holy Spirit, you don't flow. People worship and they lose themselves into God. You cannot. If you are like that here today, I decree by the decree of the man of Galilee, Jesus, the Son of the living God, receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Two, there are some people, they are always constantly sexually aroused. They try this, they try that. No. It's as if the enemy has fired the arrow of sexual looseness into their lives. They pray, they go for deliverance, but they go back again. They say, Father, I won't go there again. I will not visit the prostitutes. But they go back there again. You need deep deliverance. Three, there is something in deliverance called long term pregnancy. Somebody is supposed to deliver a baby nine months. Three years, two years, four years. It's a sign of deep deliverance. Four, there are plenty of cases of disappearing pregnancies. They just disappear. They seen it in the scan before, but now they can't see it anymore. It has disappeared. This is a very serious matter. Very, very serious matter. And I cannot just bypass it like that. Right there where you are, all eyes closed. If you are here and this is happening to you or has happened to you, pregnancy disappears. Or it had disappeared before. Find a way quickly to this altar and be on your knees now before we bypass that arena. If you are in any place watching us, find a way to the altar of where you are so that the hand of God can deliver you today. Something is about to happen that will change destinies forever. While they are coming out, can you shout this loud and clear where you are? Goliath in my root. Is now the loudest you can shout this prayer? Yeah! In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree it. Jesus, then we pray. Those of you at the altar or coming to the altar, you can stand where you are. Stretch your right hand towards me. Father, let this let the fire of God enter into these hands now. Let this cause grace deliverance to happen. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to count some just smite your womb area. One, two. Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance, and the holiness, and the children of Jacob shall possess their possession. Yes, let her go. 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 In the name of Jesus. The serpent in the womb. Get out. Get out. In the name of Jesus. The swallowing serpent in the womb. Get out in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, those of you at the altar, begin to shake your head. Shake it vigorously. Shake it vigorously. Shaking it is a sign of no. No. You don't want it anymore. And then the arrow fired into the womb. Go back to the senders. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go 
Check it out. Masikatani kaya boshanda. Amen. Beginning from today, the battle you have been seen before, you shall see them no more in the name of Jesus. You may go back to your seat now. Aha. Look at what is happening. The great physician is walking, 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 walking. Yes. Yes. Power of your village witchcraft on your womb is destroyed now. Aha. Everybody will pray this too. This is a prayer that has delivered many. Pray this deliverance prayer loud and clear. Yokes of my father's ass! I am not your candidate! Pray! In the name of Jesus! In Jesus' name we pray. I spoke to you about spiritual blockage, about being constantly sexually aroused, about long term pregnancy, about disappearing pregnancy. Number five is strange voices. A lot of people are hearing voices they should not be hearing. When you hear a voice that is not the voice of God and it says strange things to you, you need deep deliverance. That person over there. That voice that is telling you that you will die. I silence that voice now in the name of Jesus. Six, we have situations of babies traveling out of the womb and coming back. Travels out, comes back. Travels out, comes back. It hurts for deep deliverance. Seven, this may be difficult for you to believe. But there are plenty of people with invisible load on their head. There is load on their head. They will not sit physically, but it's there. Eight. Some people have the arrow of pepper. The body is just peppery. As if pepper is applied. No. It's a case of deep deliverance. They are boiling that person in the cauldron of witchcraft. It's that heat that you are feeling. Nah. There is something called personal rain. The person will feel that rain is falling upon him. Or somebody is pouring sand on him. And they can't see anybody. Because for deep deliverance. This is why I'm, I'm, I'm trying to explain to you that the next two power syndromes is to deal with these strange and mysterious afflictions. Then number 10 is the rage of satanic birds. Birds just roaming around the compound, screaming and screaming at night. I mean, immediately it is daybreak, they disappear. It needs deep deliverance. You that you are there, they are coming to, you need that deep deliverance. Some complain by level about being pursued by the moon, by the stars, by the sun. You can't tell anybody. Because if somebody tells you, moon is pursuing him. The sun is pursuing him. We say you are mad. But it is a reality. Reality. Twelve. There are some people, their money disappears. Clothes disappear. Air on the earth disappears. They don't know who's taking them. They don't know where they have gone to. It calls for deep deliverance. These are things we are going to be dealing with. Some have strange odors coming from their body. Some have scratches coming up on their body. To some is unexplainable hatred. Unexplainable hatred. It calls for deep deliverance. There is something called spiritual famine. The person will have no desire to do any spiritual discipline. There is total inability to read the Bible. Total inability to pray. Total inability to have communion with God. Any time they attempt to pray or to read the Bible, several things will happen. They may instantly fall asleep. Then all manner of thoughts crossing their mind will make it impossible for them to concentrate. They may begin to feel sick. 
or develop severe headache. Anytime they grow spiritually, there is an aggressive counter attack. Deep deliverance is needed. I saw somebody three months back. She has three girls. The first pregnancy was a boy. This was in the hospital. As they say, push. And she pushed the baby. An unseen power standing in that hospital cut off the head. The head of the boy just rolled on the floor. The nurse ran away. Everybody was afraid because they could not see the forces cutting it off. She cried, went all over the place. She got pregnant again. Fifth time. Another boy. Another clinic. The same thing happened again. As the head came out, it was cut off. That is not ordinary deliverance again. It's a deep deliverance. Situations like this are things many people cannot discuss. Some suffer from emotional insanity. There is wound in their heart that nobody can see. And it's making the enemy to be attacking them regularly. All these kind of feelings, they are signs of deep deliverance. Excessive tiredness. Just tired. You wake up, you are tired as if you have not, never slept. Those are signs that a deep deliverance is called. When there are strange occurrences in the environment, flying objects, shadowy objects, bush babies crying on your windows, then a deep deliverance is called for. The question is, why are they looking for you? Sleepwalking is sleeping. Is walking about. Deep deliverance is called for. Demonic look alike. You always see somebody looking like you. All this call for very deep deliverance. These are the things we need to address. But before that time comes, we have some dangerous prayers to pray against them. What do you do when the enemy is stronger and the body is heavier? What do you do when you arrive by your Red Sea? The first is to surrender your life to Jesus. The next thing is to report them to God. And the third thing is to declare war. Is that war we are declaring now? Meaning that in the next two palm of changes, you are still going to be bringing your anointing oil here until total victory. All eyes closed. But you see, if you are here today and you are not born again, you have not to surrender your life to Jesus. Do so very quickly before we start these prayers. You can come to this altar at the front here or any of the two altars at the back. You say, Pastor, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. I too want deliverance to the root to happen in my life. Run quickly to this altar at the front or any of the two altars at the back. Or wherever you are watching us, go to the altar of that church over there. Jesus is waiting for you. Do it very quickly. We have to go and pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just of you at the altar, I congratulate you. For taking the most important decision in life. Let's bow down your heads and say this after me. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, I know that you died for my sins. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, I say bye bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here who have surrendered their lives to Jesus. Father, keep them standing by your power. Lay your hands upon their lives. Today, that they have surrendered their lives to Jesus. Let the earthquake of deliverance begin to happen in their lives. Give them uncommon breakthroughs. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Right there where you are, the counselors will discuss with you and tell you the next course of action. The rest of us, wherever we are, talk to the Lord now. Tell the Lord to forgive you of any sin that will keep any deep bondage in place. Particularly bondages you cannot discuss with people. Ask the Lord to forgive you now. 
do that quietly where you are. It's Christ and fit place. Let your amen roar like thunder as I pray now. Let nobody's voice be louder than yours in these prayers. In this prayer session, anything can happen at any time. Father, in the name of Jesus, your amen is not loud enough. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you because your word says that oppression shall be far away from us. Your word says, They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Your word says, No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Father, I decree right now that anyone in this garden and the weapon of the enemy is already prospering in your life. Receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Master Polikaya, receive your deliverance. In the name of Jesus. When I say one, two, three, go now. You shout the name of Jesus seven aggressive times. And then you keep quiet. One, two, three, go! Shout it again! Father, it is written, anyone that calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. As many as have called upon the name of the Lord just now, receive your breakthroughs now in the name of Jesus. Receive it, 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 receive it. Makatela kaya bo shente rabosa. In the name of Jesus. Silence. Father, all who are here and they have been dedicated to one idol or the other, consciously or unconsciously, wherever such people are now. Father, these are your angels that are moving around. Let them begin to touch them one by one. That's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, all those who have been dedicated by their parents or anything, receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. There are 21 persons here. Before the next power must change hands, the Lord will usher you into great wealth that will change your story forever. Say, I receive power to rewrite my family history by the power in the blood of Jesus. Can you shout that loud? Shout it again. For the last time, shout it now! Now, I want you to make one single prayer request. Something you want the Lord to do before the next time of changes. Single prayer request. Just one. Amen. 
the Lord blesses you from Zion. Make his face to shine upon you. The eyes that never slumbers must shall be upon you. No weapon formed against your life or your destiny shall prosper. The Lord will arise and fight all your battles for you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. It is well with you. No weapon formed against your life shall prosper. I put you in envelope of fire. I laminate your life with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus. My I believe you have been blessed by this video. If you have any question or prayer request or want a particular video topic, use the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the notification bell beside it to be updated with new videos whenever available. Thanks as you share this video with your friends and family. God bless you.